Welcome everyone to the Zoning Board of Appeals, September 26th meeting. My name is Barry Akins, I'm the chairman. Board members, Mr. Himmel, Mr. Chin, Mr. O'Brien, our clerk, Mrs. Noonan, the director of inspection, Mr. Conlon. If you have a cell phone or page, please put it on silent. There ain't no more pages, I guess. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to uh, accept the reading of the minutes as read. Uh, You're going to uh, like to make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. Second. On motion. And then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Uh, we have one case here which we can move on right now. Uh, old business, case number ZDA 2346, 147 C Street. We have a letter here from their attorney to withdraw. We have a motion, please. Make a motion, ZBA-23-46, Jason Cole for variance finding to subdivide the lot into two lots, construct two townhouses with parking under each unit for one vehicle in front of 1247 C Street, Quincy. Make a motion to withdraw without prejudice. Second. For the motion, seeing that all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? A motion. Uh, Mr. Frankel is here now, so there's not a question of just four members. So we can go to our next case. Hey, Thank you, uh, In the new business, case number ZBA 2353, Dennis Caldwell, architect for advantage to construct one new vehicle garage on the premises of number 131 Bunker Hill Lane. The applicant and representative here. Please step forward, name and address for the record, please. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Bob Boynton. I'm representing Caldwell Architects. And I live at 60 Phillips Street, Attleboro, Mass, 02703. Thank you. Why don't you tell us what you want to do? Uh, so I'm here on behalf of Muhammad, and what we're looking to do um, on the plans that were presented to you is actually sort of a double scope project. Um, the, the scope we're here for tonight is to build a one car garage to the left side of the uh, existing home. Uh, and what we're seeking is relief from the side yard and rear yard setbacks in order to build a functional, usable garage on his property. Uh, right now, the existing garage is off the back is not a functional garage for a current vehicle mm -hmm. of today's size. Mm -hmm. So what they're trying to do is make it a little easier to maneuver in and out of the property by putting this garage on the side versus trying to have it go around the back of the property and not be able to use their backyard for recreation or hang out with their families. So that's what I'll uh, What that's else is going to be in that garage besides the one car here? That's all connected to have a mudroom? Yes, there's sort of a mudroom space that ties in. So this living space that can actually connect to the existing house and rather than have to go outside the house into the house. I believe that portion of the project is within the existing setbacks of the project. Mm -hmm. So that is not in uh, contention. It's just the garage portion. Uh, another question about that room downstairs. The only way then to get to that playroom downstairs, the family room, is to the new garage. Upstairs, upstairs, but there's an extra thing in the back way, too. Set of stairs going down. Yes, right there is a set of stairs that will tie from the kitchen upstairs. I believe it is. Mom, you? Yeah, I believe it is the kitchen upstairs that ties into that space downstairs. Now you got a playroom downstairs, so you just yeah, it's an existing full, full bathroom, full, correct? Yes. And they say one's just a gym and a family room. There's no bedrooms down the basement. No. That's all existing. We're not doing any work. No, I know, I know. I'm just I'm looking at it. it almost looks like an apartment down there. To me, but or it could be. Um, those are the questions that I kind of had. I was just <clears throat> wondering how, how come, what's the exact width of that garage? From the, from the front. 1711? 
the garage itself? From the house. That you connected? Yeah, it's about 18 feet, looks like it. Huh? I'm trying to read my stuff, I can't. It's like 12. Yeah. 12? Does that say 12? 12. 12. 12 or 13. Why about 17? 12, 12, right? 12, 0. <laughs> Uh, 13 feet all along the back dimension line, so yes, 13 feet. Oh, 13. Yeah, 13. 13 in the back. I and it's 21 yeah. front and to back. Yeah, that, just that little piece. Yeah, so yeah. just, just it's, it's, yeah. it's about a minimum size for you for a single car right now that you yeah, put it's in. Yeah, 13 feet. Yeah. All right, I have no further questions right now. No questions. I have no questions. Oh, sorry. We don't have any control over any of the development other than the garage. It's the only thing that we're addressing, right? What, just the additions they're putting on? Just for the garage. Yeah. Well, they got a mud room on there they're putting in too. But that's out of ours. No, right? that's us. That, that's part of this addition, correct? Yeah. That's, that's the addition they're putting on. Yeah, that'll believe mud room it's... In there, yeah. Plus the garage, and they're connected into the house. <clears throat> All right, so the garage connects to the mud room, and they both connect to the existing playroom. That's correct. correct. Yes. Yes. So they're putting in the garage in the mudroom. But the garage is the only piece that's in violation of the zoning setbacks. Yeah. So the mudroom would be by right. Well, they think, yeah, the they only building. Yeah. Well, it's just the garage in the corner going over to the back of the back of the property and side of the property. And you're going up also. Yes, it's yeah, yeah. It's almost like a half a flight up to the uh, first floor from that garage level. So that's how it is. The back side. Oh, the back or the front? Which, which well, about? I mean, you, you're going to add a second. You're going to add a second story. Up yes, that is. Yes, up? yeah. Muhammad is looking to add a second story to the house. As well. Okay, so yeah. a second story and uh, um, three rooms up, two rooms up the back. Correct. <coughs> Thank you. But right, you can have a seat. Anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call. Third call, call it close. Got a letter here from the DCW. We reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Anything further, please advise. Anyone opposed or on the side? If you step forward, name and address for the record. Good evening, my name is Karen Wysocki Stapleton. I reside at 358 East Quantum Street, North Quincy. I'm here representing my mother, Arlene Wysocki, who is one of the abutters. Along here is my brother, Michael Wysocki, okay? When I finally was able to have true access to the plot plan and the blueprints, I was able to see a little bit more clearly what was going on, but my concern even prior to that was the close proximity, and I'm gonna use the word fence initially, to her property and also the height. When I was discussing this with my mother, she talked about the fence. She said when the fence was installed, that she was out in the yard and was approached by the owner, Mr. Mohammed, and he said he wanted a straight line and that she wouldn't miss or notice him taking additional land to make that straight. Well, he didn't say land, but something that he wanted it straight and she wouldn't miss or notice. She went in the house, she called me. The first words out of her mouth was that she said that he is putting a fence on my property. I went over, I saw a lot of staging material that was on her lawn, as opposed to on his driveway, where I think they were supporting number one of the fence section before they were gonna add additional. And so I said, oh no, that's not where it's going to be. This is just where they're staging. His wife came out, I did not see him, and she had the large plot plan, I said no, we are where we're supposed to be. But now viewing this plot plan, my mother was right. He put his fence over her property line as well as he put his fence over the uh, neighbor's property line. When did that happen? How long ago have you had your fence up? Uh, five years. Just five years? So my mother would have been in her mid-80s at that point. So 
so I had said no, based on what I could see, you know, well, with the staging, I said, no, he's not. So this is what she, she brought up to me after we had a discussion. Then I was finally able, as I say, to view uh, the land plot and clearly see that where his vinyl fence is, because it's marked with the circles and the X's, that that's the vinyl fence that goes all along the property, but the solid lines are indeed the property line. So we believe that my brother and I, on behalf of my mother, feel that that needs to be addressed, that the fence needs to be adjusted and put appropriately on the property line, because for now or future going forward, we don't want to have any issues for anyone should we sell the home regarding the property line. So therefore, when I look at the corner where it says three feet, nine inches, and it looks like it's three feet, nine inches from the fence, not the property line at that point with this new build out for the garage. So that is our part of our, the concern. My other concern is with it going up, it looks to me in the design that the garage height would be equal to the above the first story windows with what looks like a walkout. Currently right now, and I respect Mr. Hassan for having, he's security conscious, he has a motion detector, it's obvious because I'm constantly over my mother's. He also has a floodlight in the air, which is on all night long, because I live there. She recovered from her um, accident. Can I see those and put them in the record, please? Thank you. I'll keep these for the record. That's fine. So my oh, question, you need one. Oh, okay. Trevor's brighter. So, for me, the concern is when you go up higher, what kind of lighting is there going to be there? Do not need to have illumination in the back of the yard or the back of the house, because I was aware when I was trying to sleep when it actually did go out up there. So uh, basically those are the concerns. Lighting, too close proximity or inaccuracy in terms of saying what is the property line, the true property line versus the fence for putting it that close. So that's Thank you. a question. Uh, did you did you uh, did you have a survey done in your property when you found that out? I didn't find that out looking at this until September twentieth. Oh, well, well. okay. When I believe this is Kathleen Noonan. But when your mom said she was gonna, they're putting a fence on her property, no one went and got a survey to see if that line was right. Oh. Because I assumed she was being yeah. in her mid-80s. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that. No, I know, she's cognizant that, that she's looking at it. Anybody on her property that she does, all these strangers, was like, no, they're not coming out that far. Hmm. Um, you're mistaken. But it's obviously for her to remember that. She's a full faculty. Um, so, yeah. That's Thank my you. concerns. Anything else? Anyone else want to speak? Second call. Council, all set. <coughs> Call it uh, hearing calls. Um, guys, the house open is broken. It's just a mile of fence. Clearly, it's still on. Yeah, it's like it's a shovel. Yeah, it's like it's a shovel. Yeah, that's my shovel. Yeah, and then where's yeah. the fence? It's like it's a little bit. So, it's a bit of a she's saying, well, it's not small, but I'm fine. But that defines the property line that that just gets there. So we should show it. Right. So that's all right. So now here. Yeah. But it's all on the property line. There's no kind of a swing of the same. So you went, correct? You just defined it. The, the line with the, with the distance on, yeah. that's generally how they mark it. Right. So, that, so the property line. Is that two feet or is that? It is in the The fence is over. I don't know, some of this you get to see. Put some arrows well, in front of the This is right. This is the survey. Uh, it's right over it's a vinyl fence. Yeah. It points to the inside. The fence, the fence is there. It's it's it. The, the, the X mark is going to be a pull down even there. So it yeah. yeah. could be a fence and they have this here. Yeah. 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 No, she's saying the fence is sharing yeah. hours. Yeah. 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 Thank you. What's your problem? If you want to give me a full set of drawings, we can take a look at these. Uh, 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 uh,
the Dickens stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here. It's okay here, it doesn't cross over here. Right. So then it extends and back here. With three nine yeah. it's, it's back how far? Is yeah. that a foot? Yeah. So it's three nine to the yes. property line, yes. not the yes. fence. Yes. Yes. Could it be nine inches or could it be could, see the three nine proposed? Three nine yeah. off yeah. it's showing it off fence. No, for showing it off the line. Uh, so is that right? In the fence, but it's so he's correct until it gets to here. Oh, and he's on the line, which you can't be. Wait a minute, no, 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 the fence is served. So he's as much as he's Oh, yeah. I get that. <laughs> but if you get it, cheat on your side. Well, exactly. Don't move the whole line in. Yeah, move the whole line. Ten years of long. Take a picture. Fix it. Six inches is your problem. Right, exactly. Not this. Look about ten years to fix your fence. Mm -hmm. Resurvey it. Fix your fence. Yeah, that's right. Stop mine, right? Resurvey it, plot it, just the fence. Right. All right. Yeah, somebody's got it. But that that makes the. The fence is wrong. I mean, it shows you right there in the property. That's six panels. But here's what the applicant did do. What he took down this end by the driveway, he gave back on the other end, which don't make it good. I mean, he took it on the back and gave it on the front to make the line straight. So, but that is, that, that, that fence is on your property. It's on her property. And not your property. Three nine to the property line. Three nine to the property line and showing from from the addition, yep. but your fencing ain't even right. Usually you go inside your property line an inch or two or three to four or six, so you don't take someone else's property. Uh, name and address if you want to speak, please. Come on up. <coughs> you are the owner. Good evening, everyone. This is Mohammed Hassan from One Three One Concrete Lane. So yeah, they are neighbor, uh, so a very good neighbor. And when we actually built the fences, um, when I bought the house 2014, it was wide open everywhere, like uh, on the left, right, and back. So they actually our um, corner neighbor, like among the others neighbor, uh, our very small part of it. But I don't have any actually the if they are. I, I saw she also mentioned about the back light. Mm -hmm. uh, she could actually talk to and ask about that. But, hey, you have to light down. She never actually tell us about it. We always see each other. You shouldn't leave your back light on anyway. No, actually, this is sensor light. When something <coughs> moving, that lights come up. But um, if anyways, because we respect, she's the uh, our senior, our senior citizen. Mm -hmm. for that. So we, we couldn't do something for the light. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have to bother anyone. And about the fence, uh, when we bought the house 2014, actually everything was wide open. So we came out to think about the fences. And when she complained about, said, don't take our property. And I came to the, actually the 
building department to see our <coughs> property line. And then I saw something that our property line was the mark with the something iron filler mm -hmm. on the ground. Yeah. So we actually try to match with this land. But anyways, any any complaint she has, if we take their land, we can then give the land back. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. Yeah. Well, here's what I'd like to see, guys. I'd like to see the fence fixed. Let's talk about the property itself. You're all set. We're all set. Any questions, Tom? No. no. Get the get the fence fixed. Get it on its property line. And let's see what the it's still going to be in the property line three nine. We know that. And then talk about if you want to build that. If you want to build that beside the other house. You want them to come back after the fence is moved? Yeah? Three yeah. Sure. Right. Right. You want to survey? And a resurvey in his property. You're right. With, uh, bound, huh? with boundaries. Yeah. Meeks and bounds. Sounds good. And we'll revisit this in a month. Thanks, motion. We'll give you time, month, to fix the fence. You don't want me to put the the addition right now? No. 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 We're going to get the fence fixed. <clears throat> and you're going to get a survey, new survey of the property, Plot with the front. fence in it, with the new fence in it. Give it back to us. And how long would it take you to have that done? Okay. Month? Okay. Month and a half? I don't know. Prepare it as soon as possible. How long? Prepare it as soon as possible. All right. We're going to get uh, October 24th. October 24th. But you got to have it to us like a week early. So you get three weeks. Okay. You can get that done in three weeks. I hope so. A surveyor? I'd have to talk to the survey and see how it's going to take a minute. All right. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. We'll do this. We'll notify both, both of you, you the people over here. We'll put it in the paper again of the dates. Why don't the clerk give you the date? How long it's going to take her? Call her tomorrow, the next day, whatever it takes you to get your information, when you can have all this done. Gotcha. I know you got to call a fence company. you got to make sure a survey is available. Yeah. It might take six or eight weeks. I don't know. Could take three weeks. If you get done in three weeks, we'll do it at the end of the month. And these are set of plans we got, sir. Uh, so we have a motion to, to revisit this. Why don't you do this? What's the first one in November? Huh? Yeah, 14. 11 14. You want to enjoy the fence? I want privacy. I'm not trying to be 14. If it's a 14, does that mean 14? Few, that's three weeks after the. Let's see, we're at uh, November. It would, it would, <coughs> no, November. November. November we have one on the 10th, and 24th, and on November 7th. We can't just say it's going to be 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 DBA-23-53, Dennis Caldwell, architect, prevents to construct a new one-vehicle garage on the premises, no, number 131 Bunker Hill Lane, Quincy. Make a motion to continue it to November 14th with the fence being removed and new to uh, the lot line with a new left side survey to include. Yeah. With bounds there. With bounds. Install bounds. Yes, yeah. install bounds. With installed bounds. What do you mean by installed bounds? They're going to mark it. They're going to put We're it right. in the mark and we'll mark it. Is a wooden state marker acceptable? Or? They're all for the bound then. Especially in the back on okay. granite or so something. Yeah, something like that? Yeah. Okay. Driving 10 foot rod, spray painted. Second. All. Second. On the motion, saying that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Motion to adjourn. Second. On the motion, CNN, all in favor? Aye. 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 A